and welcome to a brand new video. I don't know why I just said it like that, but I am excited. Maybe that's why. <laughs> we are doing a Black Friday haul. And more <laughs> specifically, it's a very specific Black Friday haul in that it is all Pottery Barn. Hold on one second here while I get it. We got a few Pottery Barn things. <laughs> um, and I will add that I, I did purchase some other Black Friday things, um, but I wasn't sure if they were going to be good enough Black Friday deals because it's kind of become a thing that Black Friday isn't as good a sale as it's touted to be. But I just kept looking and I was patient and there was one store in particular that I was hoping for a sale and that was Pottery Barn because people, I cannot be paying the full price at Pottery Barn, okay? <laughs> So I got some Pottery Barn Black Friday stuff. Um, I, like I mentioned, I got some other stuff too, mostly electronics, like as far as non Harry Potter things. I got me a new vacuum. Let me tell you, you know, my husband was looking for a vacuum, um, a new vacuum, a specific one that was like 500 bucks and it was well more than 50% off or somewhere around 50% off. And he was like, we gotta get it, we gotta get it. I'm like, fine. Cause you know how like those things that like you do really kind of need are not fun to buy. <laughs> oh my God, the suction on that vacuum. I'm just saying it is so good. <laughs> like I'm getting so much joy from vacuuming my house. Um, until the day that I do not have carpet will be amazing. <laughs> so I got that. I got myself a 14 terabyte storage, I was going to say facility, <laughs> um, because you know, these YouTube videos have to go somewhere. So turns out we needed some storage and we got that. I got myself a microphone and I got myself an external capture is what it's called because I'm not sure I mentioned this in another video, but I, but I <laughs> purchased the Hogwarts Legacy game and I thought it would be fun. It doesn't come out until January, I believe, January, February. I thought it would be fun to play it and stream it. Uh, well, maybe not stream it, but screen capture it and play it here for you guys and explore Hogwarts right in front of your very eyes. So that was the other thing that I got. I needed to get that in order to do the screen capture. So look out for that in the new year. I don't know what this was, but we have got a Pottery Barn haul. Let's get to the freaking haul here. Oh my God. I know what this is. Now I did take a peek at everything, but I didn't actually look inside and open things and play around with them. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So the first item that I got is a wearable item and that's why I'm making it first because I'm going to swap right into this little puppy um and hopefully it fits like I did my research and everything uh in checking like you know the size chart um and I think it's always really helpful to me when I hear what size people bought and like roughly what size they are I'm not gonna be giving you all my dimensions although I really don't care <laughs> like I'm getting to that age where I just don't care okay it's a great feeling <laughs> so the first thing I got is a like I said a wearable and it is, you probably can't see it very close, a set of pajamas. Let me take it out of the plastic. Now, first of all, I want to say, A, Pottery Barn packages their stuff well. B, their freaking tags are adorable. So here it is. Here's the tag. Like, okay, I don't normally get enamored with branding. Like you have to really, <laughs> you can't sell to me easily, okay? Well, unless it's like quality Harry Potter stuff, okay. But I think their tags are really beautiful. Um, and C, we were missing an item and I was bummed. It's a small item. We will get to that because I do have it. And so I'm glad we waited to do this video to have all of them that the team at Pottery Barn, like, I don't mean to tout them, but like you are paying good money. And as of right now, the quality that I'm seeing from every Pottery Barn item that I've ordered, it's not been a lot. This is the biggest purchase I've made, not price-wise. We will get to um, something else there. But the quality seems to be on par with the price. So I'm very pleased with that. And one thing I will say about these pajamas. So I really, I liked a lot of their pajamas. And this one reads very Christmassy to me. Is I was a little nervous that the flannel would be like really stiff but it's not, it's really, really soft. And I believe, let me double check. It is 100% organic cotton, which I appreciate very much. Um, so 
I ordered a size medium. I do like, especially pajamas, to be like a little roomy uh, and breathable. I like to my body to breathe. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not one of those, you know, <laughs> kind of people. <laughs> Don't know that what what that was. So it is a pajama top and bottom, um, and it has the Hogwarts crest on it right here. And I just felt like I don't normally do flannel. It feels very like country to me, <laughs> and I may have briefly lived in Texas, um, but I am not a Texan nor in my country whatsoever. Um, no problems there. Uh, you do you. But for some reason, I don't know. It gives me it gives me vibes that I don't normally jive with. But it also gives me Christmas Christmas vibes. Flannel, especially red flannel, gives me Christmas vibes. And I feel like the color on this is spot on. So let's quit messing around here. I'm going to go put it on. I will tell you, so like I said, it's a size medium. And I, too, I do tend to wear, I would say probably a medium um, and then a small. It depends on the kind of top. So size medium. It is roomy. It does fit like nice and loosely right here, but I also have like wide hips. So, <laughs> and, um, so it's a little, like a little snug right here more than I'm used to, but it's more, I more appreciate some breathability right here. Okay. So we have that. So I do like that. My husband would probably say that this fits me perfectly because, um, I think he likes things to fit a little bit better and I like things really loose. So, um, very cute. I think my only concern is because it's hundred percent cotton, it will shrink some. So I'm almost thinking I could have pulled off a large, but what I do also like about this is I am a five, three on a good day. And the inseam of pants is really important to me because I'm a short person. So the inseam on these, like, okay, it's like hiking up right now. Um, mind my gray socks comes at pretty much the perfect spot. And if I just like pull this up a touch, it really does. Let's do this here. Let's do this right now. Oh boy. So here's what it looks like. And like I said, I have kind of like, I've got some meat on these thighs here. <laughs> um, that's just the nature of my body. Love your body. Okay. And I think honestly, like if it doesn't shrink at all, it's pretty much the perfect size. I hope I'm not bending over too much here. So I'm digging it. Um, I think I would only like a little bit more room in the top area here. And as you could see, we have the crest over here and um, a pocket and they're button up. I also really like the arms to breathe. So this is very nice. I like the color, but the material is really um, nice. I wouldn't say it's crazy soft, but it's it's a good softness. Okay, this is getting long. <laughs> Let's do the next one, which is a similar item. And it is a different pattern. It is this, what are they calling this one? The Hogwarts Express Pajamas. Also got a medium. And this one is like, oh, it's so pretty. Look at it, especially with this friggin' tag. They're getting me with the dag on tags. Look at how pretty. I just felt like the two of these are so Christmassy. So you, I mean, with a blue, you get a little more of a Ravenclaw feel, but you just get really a snowy vibe. But here is like um, the village that is clearly the trio there. I'm getting like the broomsticks vibe right there. Oh, and that looks like Dumbledore here, but really, really pretty pattern. This one also, I believe is 100% organic cotton, yes. And yeah, I really like it. I love the trees. Do you see all them trees? Look at that daggone tag. Oh my God, even the freaking like ribbon. I mean, come on, at the prices you are selling things, this stuff better be good. All the way down to the tags. All right, so let's move on. Let me show you the item that was missing. So the item that was missing is a keychain. I think there's an ornament version of this. <sighs> These freaking tags. And it is the, I'm gonna show it to you and then remove the plastic. The Felix Felicis keychain. All right, my word, I needed some scissors for that one. Um, and I will add, so when you look at it online, it looks like glass, like it almost looks like glass, but it is not, it is plastic, 
which I, let me, let me stop confusing my camera here, which I prefer because glass would obviously be more breakable for a keychain and we don't want that. But I just love, love, love the gold look. And the, the reason that I bought it is I wasn't gonna use it as a keychain. I was thinking this would be a really pretty ornament and not cost quite as much as an ornament would. So I thought about like doing um, an S hook at the top up here. Although I'm looking at it now and I'm kind of like, I dig the keychain. So anyway, oh, does this actually come out? Oh, it does. Look, it's actually usable. The cork comes out. So um, any, I don't know, remember how much that was, but everything I got was on sale because this was Black Friday. Okay, next up, I don't know if you remember, um, in the like Harry Potter Christmas, like inspired Harry Potter haul that we did. So items that feel Harry Potter, but aren't licensed Harry Potter products. I got a snow globe that had um, three trees in it that would light up and had a little star on the tree. But what I mentioned in there is I really, really wanted the Patronus snow globe. Well, my friends, it went on sale. So I got it. Let me open this up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Look at this freaking packaging. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, but I love like, I love me some gold. So I have not looked in here. So let's hope it's not broken. Oh my God. Here we go. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't know what kind of batteries I need. Oh my God. Okay, now I need the snow to settle so I could show it to you. It's going like crazy here. And I do love silver. I like gold a lot too, but there was something about the silver that I really loved. So pretty. I thought I recalled like there being more green in the trees. Let me show it to you up close. Look at that. Freaking, so the the um, stag lights up and that's what I dug about it here. Let me show you with the snow. Holy moly cannoli. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. So it's a light underneath the stag. I think it makes music. Okay. I'm a little concerned about copyright right now, but let me first show you. So I will do a clip right here of the snow globe lit up with the lights off because I know it's going to look so much cooler. All right, here we go. And then I'm going to play this music and hope for the best. I did not know that there was music and I'm not so sure on copyright, but it is Harry Potter and I'm so excited. Yay. Oh my God. I like literally feel like I could tear up right now. I love it so much. Okay, and we're done. Let me give you one final close up here. Look at this freaking stag. And I really appreciate that you can have the light on the stag and not the music, <laughs> that you get the option because that other snow globe did both and I had to cut the wire so that it would shut itself up as far as the music went because I didn't care for it. Look at this little stag. So you see the light underneath? So friggin' cool. Oh my God, okay. I have two more items to show you. <laughs> the next one, oh my God, oh my God, I was so excited. I, don't be looking, don't you be looking. I saw this item, it is a new release item as far as I'm aware. I think it's the only new release item. I'm not 100%, I'm not like checking Pottery Barn every day, but it's not too far off, okay? Um, and I really wanted it and I wasn't sure if they would put it on sale because Pottery Barn did not put everything on sale. So anything I wanted that was not on sale, I did not purchase because <laughs> we wait for sales at Pottery Barn. So. I got myself, it is called the Magical Creatures Chanel Throw. If you can't see, um, I believe that is a unicorn. I'm gonna open this up right now. Here we go. Oh my God. It's like, okay. It is like so soft. I can't believe it. It is like, oh my God, so soft. <laughs> Don't know why I'm talking like that. So it is like a royal blue, which I don't have a lot of blues in my house. I tend to um, avoid it a bit, even though I, it, blue is a very natural color. It's a very you know watery color. It's an earthy color. 
I like I like blue, but I don't tend to feature it much in my house. But I was wanting to represent more of every house, and we're gonna be renovating other rooms, and bloody bloody blah. I've kind of talked about that in some other videos, uh, but you'll see it more in the future and when we get to those. This feels like very velvety, really soft. It feels heavy, like this is an actual throw that you could use um, and be warm. <laughs> like, thank you. Um, so yeah, let's open it up and take a look. I need to move some stuff around here. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Okay, actually before I open it, I wanna show you up close because it's gonna be a handful. On the, um, through the thread, there's like a silvery thread. Do you see this kind of sparkle on the blanket? So pretty. And then there's like, um, a bit of a gold sparkle. We need to stop moving this thing around, see if you could see it in the white thread. It's absolutely stunning. It's a really beautiful mix of like gold and silver and I love mixed metals um, together. So let me take this off. I wanna save this ribbon because it's so pretty and we use it. This is so soft. Wow, okay. I'm really, really impressed. I could, I, I really, I feel like I could cry. There is a reason. This is so soft. Okay, look at this. Oh my God, this is so soft. Okay. Okay. This is the underneath. So pretty. Look at the, like you can really see the gold and silver threading. Like the niffler in me is a losing my gosh dang in mine. I am seeing a, t a, a, um, a tug here, but I think we can tuck that away. No big deal, but Whoa, the underneath is even softer, which I think you would want because um, I kind of like that look um, because that's gonna be what's like touching your body. I will say I'm gonna be a little hesitant to use this as a blanket because my cats, especially with a blanket like this, if I don't clip their nails, they pull on that stuff and it's just a freaking nightmare. Let's open this up because there are three magical creatures on this blanket. Let's see if I can show you all of them. Oh my God, I am so impressed. I remember, I feel like this was like around the $50 range. Well, well worth it. Very heavy for a blanket. Oh my God, it's so soft. I love soft things. <laughs> okay, do we have it upright? Yes, oh my God, look at this, look at this. We have head wig. So you got the little kind of tassels right at the top. So let me flip those over so they're not in the way holding the acceptance letter. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? That just made it very yellow. So let's do it that way. Look at Hedwig, isn't she beautiful? Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look, I ordered another blanket. You will see that blanket in um, a Decorate With Me video and glad I bought the blanket. It, it, you'll, you'll, I, well, I will have told you that it is a little bit more rough a texture, um, but it's, it's cheaper in price and they think it's worth its price and gives a nice, like, I'm glad I bought it, but this is next level. Like, I don't think I've owned a throw blanket this soft and beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> Any hesitation I had on blue. Okay. Let me show you. It's out the door. So here is the unicorn. And then, you guys, you guys, oh my god, this is so soft. We have, oh, hold on, I believe that's an eagle. Is that an eagle or is that Buckbeak? Oh, no, 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 it's Buckbeak. I knew it was Buckbeak. I almost said Buckbeak. I looked at this. It's just a late in the day. Okay, here we go. Buckbeak. <gasps> Look at Buckbeak. Oh my god. Look at this, you guys. Highly, highly recommend this throw. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. I thought I was gonna like this. I was not anticipating it being like this hefty and this soft. This is really, really pretty. Okay, let me do one last hold up here and then we have one more item to go that I'm also very excited by. I love this head wig. So, so beautiful. Oh God, Where I'm losing my mind. And the unicorn. I get very excited by things I get excited by, okay? Like I say, love what you love and break everything that you have. Highly, highly recommend. 
All right, I need to go to the next item. I am so excited about this. <laughs> you know, if anybody wants to buy me a Pottery Barn thing, you just cannot go wrong. I tell you, their quality is just... All right, the last item. Here we go. Is this large box here. Okay, the, I will say the more that I'm like moving around in these pajamas, because I love a good review, like after somebody's worn something, I'm just like wiggling it out here, is um, if you don't have a little extra in the thighs like I do, um... This is gonna be perfect, although it's, I, I really think it is. Like I'm getting more and more used to it. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, can you tell what it is? I don't think you can tell what it is from there. It is a laptop desk thing. What do they call these things? Hold on, where's the, where's the gorgeous tag? It is a platform nine and three quarters laptop desk. Now, I forget how many inches my laptop is. I will insert that above. <laughs> I have a MacBook Pro laptop um, and I already tested this and it's bigger. So here's one thing I will say, first off, there are many variations of the laptop. What the heck is this called? Desk. <laughs> it's the thing that you put on your lap. There are many variations of it in Pottery, Pottery Barn, and this is really the only one that I liked, and I really like it. It's a bit more color than I'm used to in my house. If you can't tell, I do a lot of black. I like black as a base. I just think it's really elegant, strong, classy, blah, blah, blah. You just, it's my favorite color. But I'm also a Gryffindor, so red is like, ah, love it, love it, love it. In the image for this item, let me show you the top first. Here's the top of the laptop desk, platform nine and three quarters, solid wood, I believe so. Feels like solid wood, not uh, particle board stuff. I mean, you're paying the you're paying the price on that. Um, in the image that Pottery Barn has online, they have like a little metal clip, almost like the top of a clipboard. And I didn't love it. It almost stopped me from buying this. And I, in every picture, it's in every picture. Because I was like, why in the heck would I need that? Like, even if, even if you clipped something and you wanted to like draw or write or something, this is engraved in. So it's going to get in the way when you write. So I was like, why on earth? There's something on my notes. Why on earth would we want that there? And then when this arrived without that on it, it was, it was right here. Like I said, I'll, I'll put an image up here. It was right here. I have never been more pleased that something came not as pictured. <laughs> I was like, yes, the one thing that I did not want um, wasn't there. Anyway, so this is like a, a kind of like, you know, platform nine and three quarters Gryffindory color. It is so pretty. And if you haven't learned by now, I love me some sparkle and we've got sparkle. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my God, with my flannel. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Look at it. So here's the kind of side and it's, it's a laptop desk. You put it on your lap and you put your laptop on top of it. You know what I'm saying? So the other thing that I don't have is this notch right here to prevent the laptop from moving. So I'm very excited by that, but it is a storage facility too. So here's the bottom. So, so pretty here. Let me show you just a bit closer. And we have a little handle here so you can just like carry this puppy around just like that. And that feels pretty sturdy. Now it's not a lot in the bead area like you would get with many other um, laptop things, but that is because it opens up to storage. Like here we go. Are you kidding me? And they have a notch here. Why should that be exciting? Because some companies, I swear to God, do not think about the details. Pottery Barn does. Their, their stuff seems to be worth the penny. So they have a little notch to easily lift it up. And here is the inside. And it smells like new. So you've got two compartments. Here we go. Love that. And they this might seem really weird but they go further into the ledge. So they're maximizing the space as much as they can. Then you have this piece here. So it, I believe, will go in the notch and then you can raise it. Your laptop, a book, you probably wouldn't raise your laptop, that would be weird, um, but a book or something like that. Or you can house a book. You can house whatever you want. Um, Harry Potter book, uh, pens, all sorts of things. Maybe one day I'll be like, 
I'll do a video on like what's in my laptop case because <laughs> you know let's get weird oh my god I love it so much like I kind of peeked at this before opening it um previously I wanted to make sure what is that oh it's just a little bit of like paper okay anyway so that is my Black Friday wow okay a little tugging on the thighs there that is my Black Friday. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> uh, Pottery Barn haul. Like I said, I also got like electronics. I got a few other things and I did get a little bit of a haul on Cyber Monday, but that will come out in a different video. Excited for that one. Let me tell you what, it was another company. There were two companies I was looking for to put their stuff on sale and they did. I just had to wait for Cyber Monday on that one. So be patient. Things will eventually go on sale. Let me know down below. What was your favorite item in all of these? I don't, I don't have a favorite. I wanted the stag thing so bad. The stag thing. The stag snow globe. I wanted that so bad and now I have it. I know exactly where I'm going to put it. You will see that in the decorate with me video. Coming up probably next. Oh, the laptop case. I think the blanket takes it the cake because, and I love all of these things, I was not expecting that level of quality. And I am not one to tout brands like... <laughs> They, do, they, they, they don't need me, okay? I'm not, I'm not even one to wear branding on my shirt because I'm just not a fan and I think it's really kind of tacky um, unless it's like a small business or something. <laughs> um, but I think, the, I think the blanket is my top for sure. I'm, I'm gonna like bolt down the stairs and show my husband that blanket and he's gonna love it too. But I'm so excited to decorate with that and throw it over and hopefully my cats don't ruin it. But let me know down below, what was your favorite item? Um, and also, is there a Pottery Barn item that you are just, 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 just so excited you are just itching to get, but waiting for it to go on sale? Um, be patient, my friends. It will happen. You might have to wait another year. <laughs> I don't know. Or if you know other times that Pottery Barn drops a sale, let me know down below. We would all like to know, I think. It doesn't happen often. Um, but that is a wrap. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, my magical friends, to love what you love with everything that you have and keep making magic and I'll see you next time. Bye.